Let's solve one of the very interesting tricks to solve percent problem. Now these percent problems are usually part of your data interpretation. So any paper where you have DI or data interpretation, these kind of problems or tricks would help you solve the question very, very quickly. So let's say I take a very simple example, 22% of 50. Now since it is percentage, what I would do here is 22 divided by 100 multiplied by 50. This is how you can solve it. But rather than going into that depth, and taking 22% of 50, I can reverse the order. So what I can do is 50% of 22, that is I have to simply divide 22 by 2. So I divide 22 by 2 and I get 11% as the answer. So here 11 would be my answer. Now, another important thing, I take another figure, let's say 12% of 50. So rather than finding out 12% of 50, the same way as we mentioned here, I can say 50% of 12. So 50% of 12 means half of 12. That is simply 12 divided by 2, 6. Again, it's not just with 50. I can move it 25. So let's say 16% of 25. How would I solve? So I can write it as 16 divided by 100 into 25. That's one way you can solve. But another easy method would be 25% of 16. That means I can one fourth the value of 16 because 25 means 25 percent means one fourth so what i do is 16 divided by 4 that means i get the answer as 4 here now these kind of shortcut problems or shortcut ways would help you do quicker when you are asked questions related to data interpretation because in most of the exams we have seen recently the data interpretation questions are lengthier now they are not lengthy in the sense that these kind of calculations would come into play but if you are doing it this way it would take definitely more time but if you apply a simple logic and do it vice versa then you would achieve the question and the solution at a much faster pace. We'll be coming up with many interesting solutions for reasoning and mathematical problems. Stay tuned. Thanks for joining in.